Now, listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. <laughs> Yeah, for most of the past ten years, residents of Brighton on the south coast have mysteriously been able to receive a French radio station called FEEP. No one quite understood how the FM signal made it across the channel, but with its eclectic music policy and minimal DJ banter, the station gathered quite a cult following. One of the group of fans even made a pilgrimage to its Paris studios. But then, last month, the signal suddenly stopped. Ofcom and Sussex Police had raided a house in the Hanover district of the city and discovered that FEEP was actually being illegally rebroadcast. Since then, however, a campaign has started locally to bring it back. Henrietta Harrison met Jacquetta Benjamin, just one, one of many frustrated listeners. It used to be very close to Radio 3, so if we, we get Radio 3, so there's Radio 3, and then it used to be just it used to be at sort of 91, which was just before Radio 3, but now there's nothing. There's just more Radio 3. And now I think we've got on to Radio 1, so... Sort of very close... It was very close to Radio 3. I mean, sometimes Radio 3 used to block it, but you could generally get it with a bit of fiddling. Because we're right on the coast here, I thought it was some freak of the airwaves that we actually got direct contact with this French station. We get all the um, the radiation from France's uh, electric, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, nuclear power station, so I didn't see why we couldn't get their radio as well. So what was it about Le Fip that you like so much? Well, it plays a great variety of music, and it plays it without a lot of interruptions from, um, you know, DJs, phone-ins, all that kind of stuff. And it played a lot of uh, music that I like myself already, and plus it plays all sorts of things which I'd never heard of, um, and it, so it was interesting to hear. You know, if they're playing something you don't like, you know that in a few minutes there'll be something that you do like. Can you just take me through some of the artists on the playlist? This one has got all kinds of people I've never heard of. Carl Harvey, Joss Stone, Punjabi Hit Squad, Monty Alexander, well he's uh, jazz, Michelle Nigicicillo, Massive Attack, Mungal, playing Dreadlocks. I mean, what's so amazing is that I'll play something, say, by Dvorak, and they'll follow it by something like Just Jack, which is yeah. which is dance music. Yeah, I mean, I love that about it, and I don't like phone-ins and things, you know, I'm not interested in what Joe Bloggs thinks about, you know, X, Y or Z, you know, and quizzes and all this kind of stuff. Bertrand Delen, you can find her in concert at Sanois, le 27 avril. I'm Johnny Fleuret from uh, FIP Radio, and the FIP Radio is a uh, radio from Radio France. Uh, it's a national radio like uh, BBC uh, in, uh, in England. Do you think music radio in Britain and in France, well, music radio is too formulaic? Yes. <laughs> Sorry for you. But uh, not uh, even uh, in, uh, in England, but everywhere in the world. You know, FIP, it's, I think it's a unique radio in the world. We have no advertising, we have no jingle, we have only the music and the voice. Now, a transmitter was put up yes. by a FIP enthusiast. Mm. So your station was crystal clear in this seaside town. Did you know him? I know. And I, I don't want to know him. Uh, it's not an uh, official program. It's an illegal radio. Someone uh, in Brighton uh, who, uh, who like very much FIP uh, decide to take uh, the FIP on, the, on our, our satellite, but it was illegal. You know, for us, it was our, I call it our ghost radio. There's a campaign to get the transmitter back up in Hanover and FIP back on the airwaves. Actor Dave Manfield has joined the campaign and took a break from rehearsals to tell me why he wants FIP back. 
Well, I think it should be back on the airwaves because of the overwhelming demand from the people of Brighton. They love it. It's playing in cafes and boutiques and, and private homes all over the town, and it's changed the musical cultural landscape, if you will. People are listening to jazz and classical music that they wouldn't normally listen to. They're listening to world music and French music, uh, and they're just discovering a whole new world out there that's not allowed us by the tight, demographically based way that British commercial and state stations broadcast. We're given what people think we want. Whereas in actual fact, if you broadcast with an open mind to a town that has an open mind to music, or a city I should say, you discover that people want that stuff. Surely you must agree that radio has to be regulated though. Obviously, it not being legal is not a good thing. <clears throat> However, the demand for it and the way it has been a beneficial part of our local society proves that if the law's in error, if the law's in us, and it's working against the, the, the greater good, uh, it's doing no one any harm, as far as I can see. Commercial stations might say, well, it's harming us. Uh, but equally, I would answer, well, play what people want and format it how they want it, and it won't harm you. Can you explain to me, actually, how this station did get to be so crystal clear in Brighton? The short answer is no, I can't. Um, I would love to, but then I'd have to kill you. It's a mystery, and I think it has to remain that way. Uh, uh, and uh, neither can I say that I know how it's done. Um, but whoever does do it knows what they're doing. That's all I can say, really. Now, I've heard rumours that it's, it's a man that lives in Hanover that used to be friends with John Peel. Am I getting closer? You might think that I couldn't possibly comment. Ofcom, who carried out a raid and seized equipment to stop feet broadcasting, were unavailable for comments. They did send a statement saying an investigation is underway and stressing it's their responsibility to keep the radio spectrum free from interference. So it's unlikely feet will return to radio sets anytime soon. But for music lovers, there's usually a way. When I first started listening to FEEP, I had a, a, a very old um, computer with a dial-up system, but now I've got a nice new one with broadband, so I discovered that you could actually go onto the FEEP site via Radio France, and um, it's really quite good, except for here we are now and it won't start. Oh, wait a minute. Try that one. Théâtral, avoir les 5, 7 et 8 mai au Bouffe du Nord avec FIP. Hello, hello. Come in, Pierre. <laughs> Bright on, Pierre. <laughs> the garlic sounds of feep. Ending that report by Henrietta Harrison. I always think the worst thing about a holiday in France is what's on the radio. <laughs> well, they don't think that in Brighton. <laughs>